I don't I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work in the woods all day. Oh, that's it. Okay. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the... Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. Dean, it's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so Thank you also on Patreon. Follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. Hold on, my other hand is full. Yeah. Mama's drinking today. Um, we are. What are we doing, Rick? How do I know? I don't know. Today we're reacting to a song, I believe. Uh, it's called The Voice <laughs> The Voice of Nagaland. Nagaland as one. Is that how you pronounce that? Because I think that's a place. It is a it is. Nagaland or Nagaland. Okay. I don't know the right I don't know the correct pronunciation of that, but I've seen it. I know of that before. Um, but Voice of Nagaland presents as one single music video to promote peace and unity through music. We have different Religions, different languages, different colored skin, but we all believe one human race. Each tribe of Nagaland sings their traditional songs to create a common unified voice. That's cool. Cool. I like that. Uh, and I believe Nagaland is from the northeast. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think. Um, we don't know. Uh, I know we haven't reacted to a lot from the Northeast, and we apologize about that. Hopefully this makes up for it. Um, so, ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go! Love the guitar. Love it. Oh, that's 
Tremendous undertaking that was. Good night. Dang. To do it in every single language. And get yeah, all and those I shots just, and then also recording every single one of them. Yeah, and it wasn't just the languages either. It was it was representative of of of, of people groups of but from all over as well. So that's what's interesting to me. I guess it was focused on Nagaland Nagaland, which is I think you're I think you're right. Um, uh, in fact, I'm looking right now. Yeah, it's it's northeast. up near Assam. Yeah, it's the northeast. Yeah, but they were covering Punjabis and and you know all over the place uh, as far as representation. Um, yeah, they they definitely they, showed they, you how diverse India is because well, I don't know about people, you. A lot of those people, if you're not Indian, you wouldn't know those people were Indian. If like if you no, and I don't know about face. I don't know about you. There were still some people groups there that I don't know that I've been introduced to yet, and yeah. we've been focusing on India every day of our life for the past year and a half. And there's still tons and tons of people groups that we're just getting to know. It's astonishing. Yeah, we're still stupid a year and a half in. Yep. we're still as yep. dumb 
as we were still as dumb as ever the first day you can count on that this channel will always be stupid uh <laughs> <laughs> you can count on that and i know some of you already know that uh, but yeah that was that was beautiful it was like uh what was that the one that uh they did years back in hollywood though we are the world right we are the world. Yeah. yeah. That's what it reminded yeah. me of. It reminded yeah. me of something like that, like a very unifying thing, but more impressive because that was all in English, right? Yeah, that's the other thing. I think they were all singing something of their regional anthem or tribal songs, and they were put to that. So for, for those of you who are from those regions, I bet this was a far more important thing for you to hear that blending. It would be as if we had heard a blending of songs we're familiar with of national anthems like if we heard the canadian national anthem or india's national anthem you know national anthems we don't know regional uh tribal songs so massive undertaking and it did carry that same uh -huh. spirit of like i would never put we are the world in my playlist but it's what that song meant that was what was yeah. most important yeah yeah well that was wonderful that was wonderful um and obviously really nice a lot to learn and i know the northeast uh, I know. Even in in one of our um, when we did the the big tali in India, mm -hmm. all they had for the entire Northeast was a um, um, momos. I think is what they were what they were called. And so northeastern people I think you're were, right. were very upset about that. And so I, I yeah, feel you, right. you that you, that you guys get neglected. And so I don't want that to happen. So please send me stuff that we need to see i can't react to it or do anything about it if i don't know about it but i want i want you to be represented um uh, i do uh you're just as yep. much of india as everybody else and i, I know there's i Heck think yeah. there, there's some tensions between like that part of india and the rest of india because like they get forgotten a lot yeah they get forgotten and they get misrepresented i know when i learn and can differentiate now like i remember meeting a girl who was Assamese and she asked me if it was on the trip and she said do you think i'm chinese or indian and i said definitively i said oh, you're indian and she smiled she said yeah i'm assam i'm from assam she said i'm Assamese, and because so many of them in the northeast they do genetically they have far more of that leaning in the asian influence but they're indian and it's yeah. very very important that they're represented as such because they are indian well that was great let us know more that we should react to down below our stupid reactions tune in for the